everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jessica and today I have my weekly makeup basket for my basket babes and um, This is not exactly the basket that I wanted to do this week But I have one shadow that I am determined to get done in a project and I only have to hit pan on it and then and then I can move on from it. All right, let's get into this. Let's get into it um, For primer I'm just going to go with the Essence Primer Studio with the black clay. It's a pore minimizing primer. It does all right. I wouldn't say it's like the absolute best, but, um, you know, it does all right. Um, I have foundations this week. I have the Lancome Tint Idal, and um, I am determined to get this one to its goal. Um, I think I only have maybe four more uses on this, and then that one will get rolled out. That's not gonna be a problem for this week. And as soon as that is done, I get to play a little bit. I get to be mad scientist. If I have time to film it, I will, but I, it is planting season right now. I just spent like four or five hours planting today, maybe more, I, I lost track of time. So yeah, I, I spent a lot of time in the garden this time of year, but anywho. I am going to franken this crazy um, powdered foundation. This is Bare Minerals, and um, it's just, it's way too warm. It's way too dark. This is, this, mm -mm. no, no, no. Um, it's going to be frankened into a liquid. I have my NYX Pro Foundation Mixer in white, and um, if I have to pull other stuff in to um, cool it down a little bit, because I'm more of a, neutral to olive undertone and um yeah I, I might have to to bring something else in just to to mix it up i don't think i'm gonna have time to film it this week but if by chance i do um you know i will do that but don't bank on it because i don't just i don't know i don't know if that's gonna happen all right my concealers i obviously have my color correctors i have um the nyx in lavender and the catrice in anti-red that's just you know those are my standards I keep those in all the time because you just don't know when you need to color correct um let me move that nail polish out of the way because that's not part of this basket um let's get the lips out of the way because they're kind of sitting here right in front of me oh powder um my franken powder um it's got bare minerals mineral veil feather light with a bunch of other things in here don't think I can get it done this week, but next two to three weeks, that bad boy is going to be done. Before the end of this month, that one is going to be done. I am fairly certain of it, and that will make me so very happy. It's, you know, we're hitting that midway point at the end of the month. All right, I've got um, Nars Rakugi in. Um, I have the same old, same old. This is Buxom Wine Me, and this is the um, lip stain from Sephora in pink tea. They will not die. I, like, I, I try to kill them as much as possible. Like, I have the Sephora one on my lips with a different gloss on top of it. It, it just won't die. Liquid lipsticks last forever. But they, is it just me or do they last forever? Because I can go through a gloss like nobody's business, not a liquid lipstick. Speaking of glosses, I'm putting a different one in. This is Glamour Gloss in the color Zoe. Um, yeah, it's orange. <laughs> But I needed something this week. And I am going to put in Rich Spice from Avon. Looks like that. It's like a orangey, brownie red. I don't know how else to explain it. I just wanted something a little bit different this week. And that's it. All right. Let's get the eyeliners and eye stuff out of the way. Because I got a lot. Put, put a lot of eyeshadows, or not eyeshadows, eyeliners in this week. I've still got my Essence Lash Princess Volume Mascara, my Essence Bra Brash, Brash? Lash and Brow Gel Mascara. Wow, words, Jessica. Words. They're helpful. Um, I have the Urban Decay Vice Special Effects and Regulate. I did not have it in the last week or two, and um, hope, hopefully, hopefully I'll get that done. Not done, but I will get some use out of it this week. Um, all right, for eyeliners, I'm only going to be using the eyeliner side of this duo. Um, this is the e.l.f. Liner in Plum. That is the skinny side, obviously. 
And then I've got four, count them, four of the colorful ColourPop eyeliners. I just, I want to play because um, I kind of feel like as soon as I hit pan on this one eyeshadow that I've worn every single day for like two weeks straight, it's like what's in my crease today. It was on my lids yesterday. Um, yeah, as soon as I hit that, I can play with um, my pan that palette for the rest of the week because it's going to be pretty boring otherwise. So I figured colorful eyeliner might make it a little bit more fun. And the last eyeliner is um, the Starlux Gem Pencil in Amethyst. I do actually have that on my lids today with another um, shadow on top of that. Oh, I almost forgot this. This is the e.l.f. Cream Liner in Copper. Looks like that. So, yeah, I've got a lot of liners to play with for this week. For my eye base, I am sticking with Submissive from Be A Bombshell. That's, that's just not going anywhere. Um, and I have two ColourPop things. I have the Super Shock Shadow that I had to say really slowly in Lady Bird which I really like. That is what I have in my inner corners today. And the Jelly Much in No Rest for the Vivid. And that's the color right there. And it is fun. It is such a fun color. I can't wait to play with that this week because I don't want it to be boring. All right, eyeshadows. Let's get into the real eyeshadows. Um, my magnetic palette. I have a different cream concealer from the Depotted Profusion eyes palette. This is the last cream concealer from that palette that I have in my collection. So it's time to get working on that right on time because I wanted to have um, the first one in the first half and then the second one in the second half. So we are right there. This is um, from BH Cosmetics, the um, Bubs Beauty B palette. That's the color kind. Palooza from ColourPop Aha uh -huh Honey. This is from Sephora Colorista Franken. Celadon Green. This is Royalty from Morphe, Jaclyn Hill. Um, this is just kind of like a Franken that I use for all different purposes and my Franken blush from the Sephora Colorista palette. This one I'm figuring two weeks, maybe three, and that baby will be done. It's going to be this month. Again, cross my fingers. Um, I think this is going to be done this week. Everything else, everything else, not so much. All right, to go with the eyeshadow um, that I am trying to hit pan on this week, this is um, Jivia's Place, the Nubian Glow Palette. She's so pretty. This one is just a usage, but it is going to pair very nicely. And um, I think with that, I can definitely hit the pan that I need to. This is the one that I need to hit a pan in. I'm working on gingerbread in here, and I'm trying really, 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 Really? Did I say really enough? Really hard to hit pan in gingerbread. And it, for me, it turns orange on my skin. I don't know if it's my undertone or what, but um, I will. I will succeed. I'm determined. You don't wear the same eyeshadow for two weeks plus straight and not feel determined to hit pan on it. All right. I, of course, have my BH Cosmetics Carly Bible palette, the original. That is my actual makeup basket. I have my 365 days of lippies and eyeshadows. Let's get the lippies out of the way. I have five buxom. I have these three, these two. I have Raven Red from Revlon. Bam, that is super red. <sighs> I'm not a red lipstick girl. I don't know why I have that. And I think this is Set Sail from Tarte. I believe I got this in play. That one is so neutral, but it's really pretty. I'm going to enjoy using that one as well. And for my 365 days of eyes, I am going to be working on a palette that I got for Christmas. I have not even swatched it yet. It is the Essence Fairy Wings and Magical Things. I believe it still has a plastic in it. Hopefully it won't glare too bad for you guys. Um, it's going to be fun to play with. There are 16 eyeshadows in here. And um, it is going to be in here for just over two weeks. Unless I happen to do a look where I use way more than one a day. And get it done a little bit early. So expect to see that one quite a bit. That is everything. That is my basket. 
it is done. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until I see you on my next video, have a beautiful day.